hey yo, you know I enjoy doing this. Right? It's not for the fame, the fortune. No, because I ain't gonna get any of that. It's seeing what people come up with in their spare time, creating something in the open source world. Yeah, I tell you, when you think you've got to see it all, you haven't. And talking about seeing it all, today we have found the best distro for Linux beginners. And then on some white text on white text that you can't actually make out what it says. Maybe if we make this smaller. No. Ah. Oh. Something, something Arch-based Linux, but that's if you have make this down to 30%. So generally, hoo -hoo, you're not going to see what this is. Well, that answered that question. And of course, this distro, Excellent, uses KD Plasma. It's user-friendly, and you can either go to the Arch Wiki or go to their Wiki. Please, if you use this distribution, don't go to the Arch forums and ask the Arch folks for help for this distro. Okay, don't do that. Life is not worth that. Well, what will happen? Folks are going to be very upset. Okay, we're looking at this wiki. It's Arch-based Linux. It follows the fast philosophy and it's free for anyone to contribute. Okay, these uh, screen uh, caption looks exciting. So, okay, we know, and we know they're using a mix of KDE, GNOME, and Mate apps for it to be modern and slick. What else? Well, couldn't find much else. Uh, they have feedback, which then takes me to GitHub and not in the mood for that. So, and to download it, of course, got to download it from a uh, Google Drive. The irony is not lost on me, that one. But you know what? Let's not to judge a distro for where it's hosted or for some really interesting web design choices. Okay, so my first ISO Looks like it was corrupted, but hey, why worry? Go to download. Oh, must wait 24 hours before trying this again. Woohoo! Oh yeah, that's that's fantastic news. Maybe there's another download link somewhere else. Huh? Let's uh, go somewhere else here. We can get the source codes up. Okay, well, this hasn't been so excellent so far. So we'll come back uh, and I'll carry on this video at some point when I can actually get hold of the ISO image. Okay, so after day number two, I finally got in the ISO image. So let's carry on with uh, this OS. So we know it is Arch Linux based. Let's give it a good amount of memory. Eight CPU cores. Hundred gig virtual disk. And ex uh, excellent OS. Okay, and Andromeda and still medium. Let's start this thing up. Okay. Oh well, this is a tight different. Launch Installer Run Partition Manager. Hmm, let's launch Installer. And LA is fine. Erase the disk. A little difficult to see here, but that's okay. Uh, EXT4. Gosh. Excellent OS. Use the same password for root, install. Okay, well, as usual, we'll let it install and we'll come back. Okay, that took about two minutes, that's fantastic. Let's go restart now. Disk HDGPT not found. No disk device root. Now starting excellent OS. Disk HDOGPT not found. What? What? Okay. What is going on here? Configure users. Configure wallet. 
configure Wi-Fi. Welcome to Exit Andromeda. If you have any problems, please contact me on the website. Okay, let's just exit this. And let's just get to the system settings at least. Is this, I guess this is the one that we've installed. Okay, so we have their customized breeze dark. Okay, well I can't say that it's not customized, it doesn't have its own uh, customized skew on top of it, so um, this of course is running KDE and I think we've managed to get this thing installed. Um, yeah, now we have, it's just had having issues booting with the bootloader for some reason, not too sure why, but um, I'm not going to spend too long on this. Um, or at least I'm not going to troubleshoot the booting portion, at least let's we can take a look at the distro. So this of course is how they've customized KDE and by default they have a dark theme going on here showing hidden uh, files which is nice. Um, seems to be generally pretty quickish. And of course on the desktop here we have, ooh, we can open up different file locations. Okay. So the software development here, we have Cutterfish installed, CMake, Plasma Theme Explorer, Qt Design, uh, Education, LibreOffice Maths, Graphics, Oculus, Shotwell, GIMP, Internet, Firefox and Thunderbird, Multimedia, Rhythmbox and VLC. Let's see if we have any add-ons with Firefox. You know, okay, home. okay, that's standard. And then of course the auto manager showing the bunch of options here. Um, extensions that, here yeah, I don't see any default extensions. Um, just the system theme is on auto by the looks of it. And they've at least got the H264 plugin enabled. And we are using normal Firefox over here by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, Office, LibreOffice, and Ocular settings, Grub Customizer. Can I come look at that just now? And system, speech, but crash process viewer. Okay, none yet. Um, HTOP, which as we can see here, it's using about just over 836 megs of memory. Not bad. Uh, CPU is relatively low, though, as I always say, it's not doing anything. So system performance out the box seems to be pretty low. Okay, what else here? Utilities, shutter, screenshot tool, nice to see that. Application still around, backups tool, and lost and found. Okay. Well, grab customizer. Oh. Let me re enter my credentials. What the hell? What? My strong password doesn't work here. Ah. All right, that is quite interesting. Let's look at the terminal here. So, no dash. Oh, that's the kernel. Installed, yes. Preempt. Near fetch. Okay, just normal plain near fetch here. And I'm going to do sudo pacman dash s. Okay, so I am actually a member of the, what do you call it, pacman. 
group or the wheel group, but it doesn't seem to pick it up in the grub for some bizarre reason. Adding and removing software. Didn't see a UR. What's going on here the whole time? Find this. Oh, it's extremely buggy. Like, look, your authentication failed. Like, why? Why is it failing? Installed. Let's do refresh databases. Okay, that's fine. I didn't run it earlier, so let's do this again. Okay, let's do a reboot again and see what the heck is going on here. Let's take another look. But I know I added the correct credentials, so I don't know why the heck it didn't uh, add it correctly to the admin group. Okay, so then we get back here, and then we get back to the fail safe. Then we log in again. How weird is this? Oh, okay. Maybe I should have done it like that. Okay, let me see if there's any packages to actually upgrade. Uh, S, Y, U. Okay, I guess that's going to make me do this. So let's just do a yes to this. Okay. This is entertaining in my life. You know, using something like this really makes me miss another uh, more well-known Arch-based distribution, honestly. Like, I shouldn't be nasty, but really. We know the first one doesn't work, so let's try the second one. Removing K1 if breaks dependency. Oh, no, it's just a bunch of nonsense, this. Okay, looking again on the wiki, maybe there's something here about stuff actually not working. Or did I miss a, some, a part with installation? Like, did I do something here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to make, as usual, arch stable by mixing who knows what a bunch of applications and themes together to make it all slick. And all I find at the moment is an unstable piece of nonsense um, that I just don't actually think it works. Uh, let's go to the feedback. No, I do not want to sign into GitHub. Let's see the repos. It's an OS. I so is there anything under issues? Three are closed. Okay, nothing. Had you downloaded it yet? Okay, so not really seeing anything useful really on the GitHub page. Um I don't want to just you know turn around and say what the heck, but uh, I'm getting pretty close to it. And that's, of course, just for the website. Oh, no, man. Um, I mean, the ISO 20 hours ago. Yeah, folks, you know what? I'm not going to actually even waste time at the moment. Who was this for? I, I actually don't even know who this is for. Really, you know, this is... They've successfully taken Arch Linux 
and successfully added dependency help to it. Something I haven't seen in a long time. So if you want to keep your sanity, go use another Arch-based distribution. Don't even try this, otherwise you might not get anything working. Um, honestly, it's just, it's not worth the pain and misery to go through this. Uh, I do hope that in future they'll fix this and it'll actually be more semi-usable. But just on my setup, I don't know if I have a bad ISO, if I did something wrong with installing it, but in my setup, I can't wait to shut down this virtual machine and press delete and then go and have uh, something relaxing afterwards. This is just infuriates me. Folks, um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.